You have a lot of items, and not all of them can fit in your lockbox. You cannot increase your lockbox size, so where do you store more items? In your mailbox. Um, it will make more sense in a minute. There is a thing the player can do called voiding. It's unintended, but it allows you to store bags full of items in your mailbox. There are multiple ways to do this. I will be showing you three today. This first method works on both Quest and PC VR. The market stall method. Go to any market stall. I recommend using the ones next to the town hall, as they're not as popular for normal players selling items. Rent out the machine by putting in a single coin into the side slot. Remember to set the price to a really high number like 999. It'll take 50 seconds to max out the counter. Then, put a backpack with all your items inside in there. It's that simple. For the next two hours, the bag will stay in the market stall. Once the rent time expires, the backpack will teleport itself into your mailbox. You can leave it there as long as you like and take it out whenever you need to. The mailbox in front of the town hall is right next to these market stalls, making the walk between them much shorter. Make sure you only put in one coin. Putting in more coins will be a waste of money, as you're not getting any more out of it. And it also stops other players from using the stall. Using up too many stalls, or using stalls on a server with popular market sellers will upset some players, and may get you in trouble. So, preferably do not void more than one bag at a time. Ask for permission from the moderators of the server you play on if you want to be safe. It is possible for someone else to buy your bag, however as long as you set the price to a really high number, you will get a good payday from it. By the way, do not void grass bags or any other low tier item or mob drop. The game will delete the item if left in the mailbox for more than two hours or so. You're better off making a normal backpack rather than using a grass bag anyways. Leather is very easily obtainable in the climbing canyon with a shovel, and metals for buckles can be found here and in the tarn. You can also just make buckles by mining ore. The second method also works on both platforms as well. Classic bag voiding. The devs at Alta put a failsafe into the game, where items falling into the void underneath the world will get returned to your mailbox. You can use this to your advantage by intentionally tossing your bag into the void. That's why this whole thing is called voiding. You can do this in quite a few places. A popular spot is behind the blacksmith. Put your void bag on your back and stand in this crevice. Walk into the wall and take your bag off and toss it in. You can do this in a few other places as well, it's just the blacksmith is a lot more accessible. Just remember that anything you throw into the void has a chance of not coming back. Mine generation and other oddities can happen which might make your bag not properly void. I recommend tossing a lit grass ball down to see if it voids or not. If your mailbox spikes up, then that spot will likely work until the next mine wipe. Just be careful about it, and always accept this risk. The last method I will be showing off today is by far the easiest and most convenient way of voiding. The catch is that you will only be able to do this on PC VR, so Quest players can't do this sadly. Server moderators can spawn in a special prefab, which can move bags into the void for you. A popular spot for this is the pond next to the customization building. Simply throw your bag into the water, and that's all you gotta do. After a second, your bag will go into the mailbox. To check if a server you play on has this method available, check if a mailbox is next to this pond. This method has never had any recorded issues with voiding like manual voiding, so it's far more reliable and consistent. If you want this on your server, or want a server owner to add this to a server you play on, there's a prefab I made with King's help linked at the very top of the description. This will spawn a post box as well as all the other prefabs to both void the bag and to show that the void pond is a thing. If you are a server owner or a moderator interested in using this void system, remember that while when it works it is reliable, sometimes it may become unstable. 
As stated before, mine generation underneath the void system can cause bags to not fall correctly. This void system works by using a dynamic well object to teleport bags outside of the map, where they would then fall into the void. Mine collisions can mess with this, and cause bags to not be voided properly. If you are a moderator, it's your responsibility to make sure this system works before letting your players use it. I recommend making sure that at least 10 or so of the mine layers have been generated. Then I recommend checking if the void system works by throwing a bag into it a few times. You can spawn a bouncing movement object and move it down to watch if it falls correctly. If there are no hiccups, then you're good. If the bag doesn't return to you, try wiping the mines or the world. Once it does work, there should be zero issue after that. Just remember that you will need to check this every single time you need to wipe the mines or wipe the world. Else, it's your responsibility to refund bags for all players who lose their stuff due to this. Cause it is your fault for not checking properly. If you would also like to place a sign next to the void stall warning players not to void grass bags, you can follow the steps on screen to do so. It shouldn't take too long. And there we go, simple as that. Special thanks to Kingza for making the workings of the dynamic well public. The last method would not be possible without him. Thanks also go to German Viking and CJ Monkey for serving as actors in this thrilling biopic. Alright, go have fun now. <laughs>